God's Wonderful World. Brother and Sister Bear liked their Sunday school teacher, Mrs. Ursula. She was nice, and she had them do fun things in class. They drew pictures of the Bible stories she read to them. They played games to act out things that they learned. And they put on plays with costumes and sets and everything. One Sunday morning, they did something entirely different. All right now, class, said Mrs. Ursula. This morning, we're all going outside on a little nature walk. Nature walk, whispered brother to sister. I thought this was Sunday school. What's a nature walk got to do with going to church? Nature has everything to do with going to church, Brother Bear, smiled Mrs. Ursula. She was old, but her ears were still pretty sharp. Sorry, Mrs. Ursula, said Brother. No problem, she said. Now everyone line up and we'll go outside. It was a wonderful spring day in Bear Country. The cubs were all glad to get outside in the fresh air and sunshine. As they strolled down the path from the church, squirrels and bunnies scampered away in front of them. A box turtle crept slowly across the path, and a woodchuck ate a dandelion nearby. Aren't all these little creatures darling, said Mrs. Ursula. They remind me of the song we always sing in Sunday school. And she started to sing in a high, wavery voice, All things bright and beautiful, all creatures great and small. The cubs knew that song, too, so they joined in. All things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Is that what a nature walk has to do with going to church? asked Sister. Because God made everything in the whole world? That's right, Sister Bear, said Mrs. Ursula. Come, let's see what lovely things God has made for us. She led the class to the field near the church. It was full of bright flowers and butterflies. Bluebirds were singing on the fence posts and swallows swooped overhead. Each little flower that opens, each little bird that sings, sang Mrs. Ursula again. And Sister added, He made their glowing colors, he made their tiny wings. Mrs. Ursula then led them to a hilltop overlooking the valley. The golden morning sun shone over the peaceful scene. They could see Farmer Ben's farm and the Bear family treehouse down below. They could see Big Bear River and Great Grizzly Mountain off in the distance. The purple-headed mountain, the river running by, Mrs. Ursula began. The sunset and the morning that brightens up the sky, finished Brother Bear. They went down into the valley to visit Farmer Ben's farm. Ben was out in the hot sun on his tractor cutting hay to store in his barn for the winter. Mrs. Ben was working in her vegetable garden, hoeing the rows of tomatoes, strawberries, and watermelons. I know what comes next in the song, said Fred, who liked to memorize things. The cold wind in the winter, the pleasant summer sun, the ripe fruits in the garden, he made them every one. Very good, Fred, said Mrs. Ursula. A sunny dirt road led them from the farm to a patch of green woods. There was a meadow with a little stream nearby. A family of ducks paddled in it, and a goose sat on its nest down the bank. Some of the cubs picked cattails growing nearby. Time for a little break, said Mrs. Ursula. Let's have a game of duck, duck, goose. The cubs sat in a circle on the grass to play. Duck, duck, goose, said sister, tapping brother on the head and running with brother close behind. The ducks and a goose came over to watch. Do you remember the next part of the song, Fred? asked Mrs. Ursula. Well, said Fred. Don't worry, laughed Mrs. Ursula. I do. The tall trees in the greenwood, the meadows where we play, the rushes by the water, we gather every day. All right, cubs, said Mrs. Ursula. It's time to go back to Sunday school now. So they all headed up the road to the church with the bright and beautiful landscape of bear country all around. Back at Sunday school, brother and sister said goodbye to Mrs. Ursula and joined Mama and Papa who were leaving the church at the end of services. They all went to collect honey at the nursery. What did you do in Sunday school today? asked Mama as they walked home. We went on a nature walk, said sister, and we learned all about God's creatures great and small, added brother.
He gave us eyes to see them, and lips that we might tell, how great is God Almighty, who has made all things well.